Hey, y'all. Today, we're making smoked Cuban cigars. Hey, y'all. Corey from Lane's here. You may have seen this on social media, and we've gotten a lot of requests. We're going to walk you through step by step on how to make these smoked Cuban cigars. Let's get into it. All right, the ingredients you're going to need for this is going to be the southbound sauce, our Cubano rub, some spicy mustard we like Dukes. I've got some thin cut pork chops, ham slices, sliced pickles, sliced Swiss cheese, and regular or thin sliced bacon. All right, step number one, which is actually my favorite step, is we get to take these pork chops and pound them out as flat as we can get them without actually like breaking them or causing a rip in them but you want to get them as thin as possible. I've got a regular zip top bag, rip it in half. What this is going to do is kind of keep everything clean and keep the hammer from actually like puncturing holes in the pork chop. So, got the pork chop in here, small, short motion. When you hit, you want to make sure you're hitting down and then out, and that'll help you get this as flat as possible. So, nothing to it, let the hammer do all the work. There you go. As thin as you can get it, you can almost see through it, but there's no big holes or tears. This is what you want. All right, the pork chops are as flat as we need them to be, so let's get one assembled. So let's start with our pork chop first, get that down. Spicy grainy mustard, use any mustard you like. I like this Duke's. We'll get that down. We're gonna go with a piece of ham. Again, any ham you like, throw it on there. Pickles and our sliced Swiss cheese. And all we're gonna do is roll that up. Now, the best part, we're gonna wrap this in bacon. Put one bacon strip down, flat as you can get it there. We're gonna tuck it up over the ends. This one will be two to three pieces of bacon. Kind of just depends on the bacon you use. I'm just gonna wrap that around. You wanna get as best coverage as you can. That way nothing leaks out while it's cooking. Press that together, make sure all the bacon holds. If the bacon's thin enough, you won't need a toothpick, but if you got thick cut, you might wanna put a toothpick in there just to have, hold everything together. But that's it. All this needs now is some Cubano seasoning and we're ready for the grill. All right, so the flavor behind this beautiful recipe is our Lane's Cubano rub. The, uh, this rub itself was invented out of the love for the Cubano sandwich. It's got a lot of salt, it's garlicky, it's peppery, and it's got that citrus kick that you know if you've had a good roast pork Cubano down in South Florida. One of my favorite rubs, I actually use this on just about anything that requires a salty peppery kick. It's great on steaks, any other kind of pork chops. It's fantastic. I've got a Rectech preheated to 275. Let's get these on the grill. We're gonna let these go for about 45 minutes to an hour, really just until the bacon gets set and as crispy as you want it, and then we'll come back and we'll brush a little bit of our southbound on it. All right, our Cuban cigars are smoked. The bacon's about 90% of the way there. And what's a Cuban without a good mustard? So we're gonna use our southbound, our mustard barbecue sauce, and go over the top and we're gonna baste it. All this is gonna do is smoke and thicken up and tack up and gonna become a perfect glaze for these smoked Cuban cigars. It's been 10 minutes. These are ready to go. The sauce has thickened up and gotten a little darker. That's where you want it to be. Let's get these off, cut one up, and try it out. 
All right, y'all, these have rested a little bit. We did get them up to 165 in internal temperature. Let them rest for 15 minutes. I'm ready to cut one open and take a bite. There we go. Everything you want to see inside of a Cuban sandwich right here in this little bacon roll. Got our pickle, our sauce, our mustard. Everything's perfect. Let's get a bite. Cubano rub comes through right away. Salty, peppery, garlicky, citrusy. That bite from that pickle, the smoke flavor, and then that southbound sauce just sets it right over the top. So, guys, give this a shot. Recipe's in the description below. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. All right, if you like this recipe, like, comment, smoke that subscribe button, and let us know how we did. See you next time. If you've had a stressful day, this is the recipe for you.